Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will understand about the data driven testing in Selenium Python. Now, as part of the framework structure and the overall end to end testing, data driven testing is very important aspect. And without data driven testing, you are sort of not utilizing the overall power of the framework and the data driven approach that the framework can bring to you, right? So in order to start with the data driven approach, the first thing we need to understand is what exactly is data driven testing now if you see the documentation here this is the module that we'll be using this is out of the box available data driven test which is ddt and what it does is usually generally data driven testing it will allow you to pass multiple set of data to a script and execute the same script with the multiple set of data right so say for example this is our script right now if i want to search the flights from new delhi to jfk right i pass these values for the date and one stop now tomorrow i want to search flights for some other locations with some other dates with some other stops right so data driven will allow me to pass different set of data to the same script and i can utilize the same script to run multiple test cases with different data sets right so that's the whole advantage of data driven testing now ddt is the module that we'll be using so if i go to this particular documentation here so this is the module that we can use and it will it's available for uh, 3.8 and above so basically it's available for 2.7 and python version as well but because we are working with the latest version so that's all good now if you want to go to the documentation you can go to the example usage and we'll anyways cover all of the details here so we'll cover how you can use ddt to implement data driven testing with the example that we have seen now let's go to github and see how we can install it so basically to install we just need to for, uh, use this command pip install ddt so we'll go to the command prompt and i will simply install ddt right so you will see that successfully installed ddt and if you simply say pip list ddt should be visible or available in the list right so you can see the uh, the ddt is available so it has been installed successfully now and if you haven't watched the previous tutorial on installing python and pip go ahead and watch it because that's the very basic aspect of what installation we have done just now right so now if we go back to our script now because we have installed ddt how we can use it right so let me remove this particular test case this is what i have told you previously about adding the multiple test case now with the ddt what first thing we have to do is now if you have to implement the same test case and want to execute this test case with multiple data sets if for example i want to search flights from new delhi to jfk then from mumbai to jfk on a different date with two stops so how i will be able to do data driven testing and pass different data sets and use same test case to execute it so the first thing is we have to simply uh, import so we have to say from ddt now because we have installed ddt so it should be available for us we need to import a couple of things right so we need to import ddt then we need to import the data and unpack and we'll understand all of these in a moment okay the next thing we have to do is at the test class level now because this test case will be my data driven test case so i have to just decorate it or annotate it with the ddt okay so this whole class is now annotated or decorated with ddt which will ensure that this particular class is data driven test okay now for the method here so basically this is the method right which accepts the going from going to date and the stops here here we have to implement my data driven test approach right so in order to do that what we need to do is we need to simply provide the data right so to provide the data using you, you need the data decorator so just add the rate data and within this just provide your data right so in uh, in the brackets basically what you need to do is you need to simply provide so what we need to provide we need to provide these values right so this is the these are the values that we want to provide as the data so the actual value in the test case along with that we also want this one stop okay once we are done with this the next step is to basically pass these values to the methods that are here okay so now because we are not going to hard code any of the values here in our test case so we can simply define the parameters here so i'll simply say going from going to date 
and stops right and instead of now using these values hard-coded values here we'll simply replace them with the parameters that we have defined right so stops will be replaced here and now our script won't be having any of the hard-coded values if you see right we have simply used these parameters and because we have this data decorator this data decorator ensures that whatever values we are going to pass here in the tuple here will get unpacked and how it, it will get unpacked basically we have to use another decorator which is unpack okay and that's pretty much it so in the data you provide the data that is being used by your script which will be unpacked by the unpack decorator which is after the data and after unpacking these values one by one the the values the number of values that you are passing here should match to the number of the parameters or the arguments that you have defined here okay so that is the key thing to remember so now because we are passing four values we have defined four parameters here and these parameters we are using in our script okay so this unpack will unpack each and everything so it will unpack new delhi and then move it to here unpack JFK move it to second one and depending on where these locations are okay so that's pretty much it to convert your test case to data driven test case now this is just a single set of data if I want to have multiple set of data right so say for example before that let's go ahead quickly and run this test case and see that it is running exactly the same way as it used to right so simply okay so let me run the test so it is basically searching for the flight and running the script exactly the same way right there is no change at all with this approach that we have taken and our script is now looking much cleaner and there are no hard-coded values in the script and that's the whole advantage of using data driven and uh, that's the basic first advantage I would say not the whole advantage basically the other thing is we can reuse the same script to execute with multiple set of data okay so it is running exactly the same way so that's absolutely fine now I want to find the flights okay so say for example i want to find the flights for some other location so just comma separated okay provide some different locations so say for example bombay bom is the code for the bombay and i want to search flights for 28th of october with two stops all right so that's the only thing i have to do in order to rerun the test case second time with the new set of data and that's the whole purpose of data driven testing i do not have to write anything else as part of that next test case that i want to execute right tomorrow i have to execute five different test cases with five different values here i just need to provide the set of data in the data decorator okay so let's try running it and see that it runs exactly the same way and this time it will run twice so there are two test cases that will be executed so this is first set of data and should filter with one stop it has filtered by one stop and this is the second run you will see that it has selected mumbai this time and this time it will select 28th of october and should select two stops this time and it has selected two stops and finish the test right so you'll see that second execution has verified two stops and the test case has been run twice with this data driven test right so now this is this is the sort of good advantage that you do not have to rewrite your test cases if you have to pass different set of data it will go ahead pick the data from the data driven approach and put that data into your script and execute your script multiple times as the number of data that you will provide okay now if we go to the log files let's say the logs okay and you will see that this is the last run right so this is the last run basically that has executed right so it started with the one stop this is the first run and it has filtered the results 20 results and then two stops it has filtered the another result so now if i have to go and add many more test cases i just have to add different set of data and my test case will be following the data driven approach and i'll be getting more test coverage with this particular approach without providing or without doing an extra or too much of an extra effort right imagine if you have to write the whole thing to cater for one stop two stop different location 
how inefficient it would be if you do not follow this particular approach in your testing. So that's all for this tutorial on data driven testing using the DDT package that we have used. In next tutorial, we'll understand how you can read this particular data from external file, right? So at the moment, we are hard coding this data in this particular file itself in the test case itself. In next tutorial, we'll see how you can read this from external file and populate the same data into the test case. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.